Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. May 1st, 2024. I pray that God will be with you today and may he be with your families. I pray that his favor will be on your life. And as you go through today, I pray that you will call upon him, that you will seek him while he may be found. Our reading today comes to us from Matthew chapter 21, reading from verse 18 to 22. And it says, Now in the morning as he returned into the city, he hungered. And when he saw a fig tree in the way, he came to it and found nothing thereon but leaves only, and said unto it, Let no fruit grow on thee henceforward forever, and presently the fig tree withered away. And when the disciples saw it, they marveled, saying, How soon is the fig tree withered away? Jesus answered and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, If ye have faith, and doubt not, ye shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also if ye shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, it shall be done. And all things whatsoever ye ask in prayer, believing, ye shall receive. Amen. What a wonderful reminder we are given this morning that it if we only believe then nothing is impossible our faith cause god to act so if we want to see god really work on our behalf then we need to believe we need to have faith in him knowing that he can and will come through so here the disciples and jesus were traveling one day and they got hungry Jesus was hungry and they went to the fig tree and Jesus saw that there was no fruit on the tree and so immediately he cursed the fig tree that the tree dried up immediately and he pronounced the saying that no fruit shall bear and or will bear on the tree ever again. Now what we can learn from this is that jesus words has power there is power in jesus and so when his disciples saw this they were so marveled they, it caught their attention because they was like what manner of man is this that he can speak and the tree die and jesus observing how they were puzzled respond to them saying that this if you only believe you can do it as well in fact if you say to the mountain and you believe that the mountain can be moved and you speak it in faith that mountain will move now it may not be a literal mountain but what is the mountain that you are facing right now what is it in your life that has become so high that it seems impossible for you to get over impossible for you to climb here god is saying that you only need to believe and it shall be done so the question i will ask you this morning is do you believe do you believe that god can change your current situation do you believe that god can give you the victory over your current situation what is your faith status now are you hot or are you cold that is the question you need to ask yourself because if it is that you don't believe that god can get you through your current situation then you will be forever stuck with that situation and that would be a very sad thing so now i will ask you that you claim that victory pray to god ask him to take this wheel to take this situation, to give you the strength to climb your mountains, to cast your mountain, to fly into the sea. Because we serve a God that works with impossibilities. You heard me say that all the time. God 
is not stagnant by our situation he's not puzzled and so there is nothing that is impossible for him to do and that is why he ends the saying by saying all things whatsoever you and i ask for in prayer so if you want something you need to get down on your knees and talk to god about it tell him what you want the song says jesus on the telephone tell him what you want tell him what you want right now some want silver some want gold but what do you want i want jesus in my soul so whatever it is that you need whatever it is that you want don't be afraid to make your request known to god and god in his wisdom and according to his will will grant you the desires of your heart so I pray this morning that as you seek to put that situation before God, that you will gird up yourself, pick yourself up and step out in the power of faith and claim your victory as Jesus gives you the strength to do so. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Amen.